Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh. Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. Baha Shem Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of GMS, who rule well, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. GMS, stop and listen. Uh, the preacher Kyle coming back, just short lesson. Uh, I was just reading through Ezekiel, just 37th chapter. And uh, right here, where it says in the midst of the valley, it's a uh, the so called Christians of the world have no clue what that valley is. And I'm going to read from, I'm going to read one or two scriptures here. And then I'm going to go to Psalms 23 and see what the valley, what speaks of the valley. Because you have a lot of uh, so-called Christian people. When you go in their homes and see scriptures on mantles and shelves, it's always open to Psalms 23, right? It's always open to Psalms 23. That's the favorite scripture. You know, that in John 3, 16. But do they really understand what they're reading? No, they do not. Just want to share with you. I'm going to read this Ezekiel 37. It says, the hand of Yahweh was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord Yahweh and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones. Right. So this valley was full of bones. Right. And it says, now, if they're full of bones, then that means what these these bones are, are are dead, right? Okay, and caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. So these bones were very dry in this open valley. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? Question. And I answered, O Lord, power. Yahweh, thy knowest. Again, he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of Yahweh. Right. Thus said the Lord Yahweh unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into them and they shall live. Right. So when he's saying prophesy unto these bones, is he really going to prophesy to like a skeleton that's laying there with no meat on it? No, this is symbolic. These bones stands for the bones are the nation of Israel. Now, let me go down to show you. Verse 11. Then he said unto me, son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dried and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts, right? So these bones represents Israel, right? And when something is dry, right? When something is dry, that means there's, there's no moisture in it. There's no water. Now, these bones are dry because what? These are the nation of Israel. They have no knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the Lord, Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. They have no understanding of the scriptures. It's why these bones are dry. Because the scriptures, when you, uh, that's one of the uh, uh, anonyms. I mean, the adjectives or, or metaphors describing the word is water and wine, which is which brings moisture. But these bones are dry, man, in that valley. So it's telling you, in this valley is what? America, man. This is the valley, America, right? Yes, the country that you are in right now. Because we have been here, the bulk of us came in 1620, right? And since we've been here, we have lost our heritage. We've lost our way. We don't know who the Heavenly Father is, right? That the whole, he, he hasn't put his breath on, on us, so we don't have that knowledge, man. So therefore, we don't have the water. Meaning what? If you don't have the water, you're going to dry up. You have no understanding in this in this place of America, man. Right? Now, let's go to Psalms 23rd chapter. It says, The Lord Yahweh 
is my shepherd and I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down green pastures. Right? He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yahweh Bashim Shai. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff that comfort me. So that valley of the shadow of death, this is America right here, man. Let's look up that word shadow of death. It's probably going to be all one word. Yeah. Um, the Hebrew word. Tazal. Tazal. Uh, Tazaman. Man. Uh, Tazamanath. It says deep shadow, deep. Darkness, right? Meaning darkness was no light, right? Because, hey, man, the the uh, the slave masters, hey, they took the scriptures, man. And what did they do? They covered the face of the judges. So therefore, we didn't know who we were. We were in a dark place with no knowledge. Deep shadow, darkness of distress, extreme danger, the place of, of the dead, man. So America... If you look up meaning babal, which means confusion, a death, the eye, the grave, it's confusion. Babal, Babylon. Let me see here. It says the shadow of death, thick place of darkness. Uh, huh. So America is that. America is that place where the nation of Israel is that and being in America, it's like distress, hardships and death, man. Things are going on. You don't have no clue of what's going to happen in America for the Israelites from day to day. From time to time, man, it's 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 your life for hanging doubt here in America. A lot of death is around you in this place, man. It's nothing to wake up in America and, and it be your last day here. That's it. With the unrighteous decrees, every time you go out, it's a chance that you might wind up in jail before the day is over and prison before the month is over. That's America, man. There's no righteousness in this place, man. You have the Lord has given the earth to the wicked. And he's playing his part. And if the earth is given it to the hands of the wicked. You're going to have wickedness, man. There's no righteousness in this place. You know, in America being the bulk of the uh, where the slaves uh, are, it's going to be plenty of wickedness there, man. America is that shadow, that, that low land. A valley is a low land, man. And, and America de demographically is a low land. You know? And it's, it's, a hey, it's, it's, Man, it's it's when you speak on it, it's like, damn, how, how are we still living by the grace and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? Because the scriptures say, hey, he's going to breathe on those bones. Even in the midst of the valley, man, he's going to wake up some of those bones, which are the elect, man. You know, through his through his grace, man, we're all, we're all still here being able to uh, basically... Uh, learn his word and, and see the downfall of our enemies, man. But it was part of a curse, man, because the a, Israelites were, was not following and observing the law, statutes, and commandments. And this is one of the curses that were put on us if we didn't, that we basically were hanging doubt, you know, in this in this valley, basically. Uh, let's see, Deuteronomy 28. I want to see it starts, 10 elegant woman. Secrets. Um, okay, right here in 58. If thou would not observe to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, that thou mayest fear this glorious, fearful name, the Lord, thy power, Yahweh, you know, then the Lord, Yahweh, will make thy plagues wonderful and the plagues of thy seeds even great plagues, man. So a will bring distress on the people and your and your 
kindreds and your generations and of long continuance and sore sickness and long and of long continuance. So it would actually keep going, man. It would continue on. It says, moreover, he will bring up on thee all the diseases of Egypt, which thou wast afraid of, and thou shalt cleave unto thee. Also, every sickness and every plague that is written in the book of the law, them will the Lord bring up on thee until thou art destroyed. And you go back and look up these different things in Deuteronomy 28, man. Consumption, uh, 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 consumption, uh, Soreness, man, madness, might you and madness of the mind, not having uh uh you would be uh no money in the city, no no basically no no storehouses, all the plagues from from fifteen I mean sixteen fifteen and sixteen on down, and it says and ye shall be left few in number, whereas ye were as the stars of heaven. For multitude, because thou wouldest not obey the voice of the Lord thy power. And it shall come to pass as the Lord rejoice over you to do good and multiply you. So Yahweh will rejoice over your you to destroy you. So the Lord is no respect of persons, man. If you don't do what he tell you, hey, he'll destroy you, man. You know, basically won't feel sorry for it. And to bring you to not. And ye shall be plucked from the land, whether thou goest to possess it, man. Hey, man. And a lot of people, a lot of people died coming over here. A lot of, a lot of Jakes died coming here, man. No, that was their punishment. A lot of Jakes died when they got here by the hands of Esau. And brutal. And they were brutal, brutally killed, man. And, and that's judgment, man. And the Lord Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth, even unto the other. And we were scattered. You have from 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 all the way from the far east, man, Japan, all the way down to New Zealand, Australia, all the way around. Israelites were scattered everywhere. And there and there's a, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thy father have known, either wood and stones. So you're going to be serving uh, uh, different philosophies. Now, even in America, you in these churches serving other gods, serving Buddha, serving Baal, serving uh, Moadak. You're serving these different gods, man, these different countries. If you grew up in China, you're serving a god. If you grew up in uh, the Middle East, you're probably serving Islam. Even in America, you're serving this fake Christianity, man, you know. So it says, verse 65, and among these nations shall thou find no ease, man. So you're treated, you're not treated equal in none of these nations. You know, you go to these different countries, they have their own names to call you. They we, they call you a nigger in America, but in their own lands, they have their little bywords that they call Jake in those other countries, man. These people know that even though you're born there, they know you don't fit in and they treat you just like the people uh, treated in America, man. There's no difference. Neither shall the sole of thy feet have rest. Man. No, man, you're going to continually get up every day in America, going out, making someone else rich, man. Always a house is always a runaround. Everything's got you going back and forth. It's, it's everything, man. It doesn't stop, man. You got bills to pay every month. You got to run around, run to different places, paying all these utilities, paying these rents. You got you got car insurances, man. You got uh, uh, every so often you got to redo license, man. You got repairs you have to do on the cars. Is no is no rest in America, man. In this valley of death, man. You know, but the Lord Yahweh shall give thee there a trembling heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. So, man, there's no rest in America. It's all gonna be misery, man. And calamities while you're here. This was a curse. But you have our people trying to live good in America. Oh, I'm just trying to make it. You know, I made it. No, you're not made it, man. The Lord, this was a curse, man. He would give you trembling heart and failing eyes, man. Sorrow of mind in this place. And if you think you halfway making it in America, you sold yourself over to Satan, man. There's nowhere around it. 
It says, verse 66, and their life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night and shall have no none assurance of life, man. So your life going to hang in doubt in America, man. You ain't going to know what was to happen. Like I said, you could go out and it'd be your last day walking around. You could be locked up or, or killed, man. You've seen it in the last five or six years, man. How the police just kill Jake and they get off, man. That's your life hanging in doubt. You don't know what's going on here in the Valley of Shadow of Death, man. In the morning, thou shalt say with the most high, it be evening, right? Because you, you, you wishing, because you're working so hard, you wish it was evening that you, you be off. And even though thou say, God, would it be morning for the fear of thine heart, wherewith thou shalt fear for the sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see. So at night, you asking the Lord, let you see one more day, praying when you lay down and go to sleep. Well, you should be probably praying that the Lord take you to the spirit world while you sleep to get you out of this valley of the shadow of death. You'll pray that the Lord let you make it through the night. You know, to wake up to see another day that, that you're going to be in slavery and beg to see the next evening. Hey, man, it doesn't make sense. But hey, that's our people, man. You know. So this this is I uh, just wanted to share this man, the, the valley of uh, the dry bones man is the Israelites without the knowledge man, you know, and brothers that preach constantly on the highways and byways you see them they was a part of those dry bones and the Lord put that breath on them and they woke up and lived. Now they out preaching on the highways and byways trying to prophesy the downfall of his wicked kingdom and, and wake up the elect. Those are the men you see the bones that have awakened man. You know, that that valley is America, man. And when you read in Psalms, hey, that shadow of death, hey, once you get the knowledge, you, you fear not the evil that they bring on you because you know it says, blessed be the ones, the man is persecuted, man, for righteousness sake, man, for my name's sake, man. So, hey, with that, man, all praises, honor, and glory be to the heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of GMS who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. GMS, stop and listen. Shalom.